Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can use a Flippity to make a timeline through a Google spreadsheet. Let's go ahead and get started here. I'm at flippity.net and I'm just going to click template and I'm going to make a copy of this template into my Google account. Now, the first thing we want to do is rename this template because otherwise the title of our timeline when we display it will be copy of flippity.net timeline template. So this is going to be timeline of Boston Red Sox. And I also want to rename the sheet down below from demo to whatever I want the title of the timeline to be. So I'll select rename and I'm going to type in again timeline of Boston Red Sox. Now I can change anything in this template. This is all placeholder information. The only thing I cannot change is the content that's in the blue headers at the top. So everything else I can change. So I'm going to delete all these cells here. And I'm going to delete the next batch. I'm going to start with a clean slate. So I'm going to put in 1918 as my first date and I'll put in October. And I'll put in Red Sox win World Series. And I'll put in something like last time they would win in 20th century. Now, over here on the right hand side under media, this is where I can put in links to pictures, videos, or Google Slides presentations. I'm going to put a picture in this field right here and I'm going to use this picture I found on Flickr that has no known copyright restrictions. I'm going to select the share button and I only need a small portion of the link. Now if I copy this entire link up here that won't work correctly. If I use this share option that won't display correctly. So what I'm going to do is use the embed code and I like to put it into a plain text editor and then I'll select from all of that code the URL that ends in JPG. That URL that I'm now copying I'll place right here in media and hit return. We'll see it's now an active link. If this was an image that I needed to credit, I could put in my media credit right there. I'm going to fast forward here and go to 1986, October. And we'll say lose two Mets in World Series. I'll put in so close as my description. Now you can put in as much description as you would like uh, for the sake of time here. I'm just putting in some short descriptions. Now I'm going to put in a link here to a YouTube video. So here I have the link to this Bill Buckner video. Click the share button and copy the link and paste that in to the media field. And then I'll do one more. And again, I'll put in another video link 
just copy that link and paste it in. Now, to publish the timeline itself, go to File, Publish to the Web, select Publish, click OK. Then down below, click Get the Link Here. And now we have Timeline of Boston Red Sox. And there's our first event. And we see the picture. And we'll scroll down. Lose to Mets and World Series. We can play the video right in there. And then finally, 2004. And we can play that video as well. Now back here in the spreadsheet itself, if I wanted to make a change, I'll simply edit any element here. If I want to put in an exact date, so rather than just doing year and month, I can put in a day. And now I have a day displayed. And when I refresh this, I now have 24th of October 2004 displayed here in the event instead of just October 2004. So that's how you can create a multimedia timeline by using Flippity's timeline template. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.